This is my professional fake smile. Ooh. I don't know how much longer I could have that little fake smile, boy. That mother was hurting my dimple. Oh, wait, oh. Yeah, man. Yep, this is right here. I know it. Well, introduce yourself real quick. What's going on, man? It's your Blueprint Mastermind, West Paul, here with Blueprint Productions. What's going on, bro? Okay, so before you met me, mm -hmm. and you ever heard anything about the UK that we've talked about, right? What was your thoughts on them? What did you know them for? What did you, when you heard London, what did you think of? Burberry. Why Burberry? I mean, I mean, okay, all right. Is let me. Burberry from London? Yeah. Oh, right. Burberry, look at that. The man just taught me something. That right. Burberry and uh, 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 James Bond. Facts. <laughs> now, what's going on with the black James Bond? Is that ever going to happen? I don't know, man. The only way I would believe as a black, they got to release a James Bond movie, a black version. That's what I'm saying. It was supposed to be Idris Elba. What? Yeah, you ain't heard that? I don't know, but the UK is making some grounds, though, with the the, the, the black girl, Megan, that became what, you know? Marco. Marco, yeah, 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 yeah. So they is making some, 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 you know, and with the drill music and everything. Facts. So. Side note, Megan Marco, they used to love, they used to love her, uh, allegedly. This is, but then they, then she started saying accusations about the queen, and they didn't like that. They, they disowned her, and then they all moved. Which okay, now nah, she, she don't, she don't, she don't got out of pocket when she did that. Yeah, she violated. She, yeah, she violated when she, she violated. did that. You know what I'm saying? But London, yeah, I, you know, Burberry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, pounds. Yeah. Pound cake. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. It's pound yeah. cake. Nah, I'm just talking shit, you know. Okay, gotcha. You know but you know, lo hey, I, I love, I love. Although I've never been there, I love the accent. Me too. The accents really, really kind of like, you know, really sets it apart. You're like, hey, are you, you okay? You know? Okay. I oh, right. my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Yeah, bye. What's going on, guys? I'm meeting the Shabby tomorrow. Slick Hendrix. So I'm Slick Hendrix, the man behind the ones and twos. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Slick. Okay. One, lit one. So, you know so, so, quick question. What's up? Before you met me, before you knew anything about the UK, before you met me, before I was a part of anything, mm -hmm. what was your thoughts on the UK? Like, what did you know them for? To be honest? Yes, to I be honest. I knew them for, um, before you, I knew them for, like, this broadcaster, um, what's his name? Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. Like, they do car, like, enthusiast things. So, like, I, I knew the UK and the London as, like, big car enthusiasts because they got, like, a, a lot of cars over there. What, what kind of cars they got over there? I ain't never, all I seen was a Vespa. No, uh, they, they have Renaults. They have, out like, that, no, that's French. I was about to say Alpine. But I know they have Bentleys. Like, I look at the heritage uh, of Bentley and all that. Because there's always, with the UK, there's always a story behind why they made the car. Kind of like with Aston Martin, even though some of them are slow, they have like a story behind it. That's Do you know any of the stories? Like, um, what is it? Some people say, I don't because I'm young, as you guys can see. But like, there's a lot of older gentlemen buy, buy Aston Martins because of how they make, how it makes them feel, not how it goes or how fast it is. It's just the feeling of having an Aston Martin. You feel like James Bond, some people. Mm, so anybody- I'm not you? saying I own an Aston Martin, I don't. What you own? Man, I own a Toyota car, so I'm very Japanese in my automobile. Toyota is the make, what's but the brand? The brand is TC, um, Scion TC. Oh, okay. Yeah. You trying to get your little vroom vroom on in there? I little vroom vroom, but it's a four cylinder, so it's nothing big, guys. But like, I, I kind of always, I like automotives and with, with the automotive stories in the UK is crazy. That's crazy. You know a lot more than I thought you was about to know, but you, you know, you're college educated. What are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 not. It's just, I think I found that off a hobby, bro. It's kind of like how you found the UK. I don't know if you found true, it off a hobby. True, 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 But like, it kind of enticed me. It wasn't no college, anything. it was just me interested in like, yo, 
that's why you guys drive Bentleys, or that's why you guys drive Aston Martins, or that's why you make this. You know what's crazy? I do a lot of so reaction videos to uh, like UK car crashes and stuff. I ain't never seen a Bentley or nothing. I always see Fiats in the smaller cars. The Toyota. Yeah, that's what I noticed car. too. But I noticed the UK, even though like they um like what is it? Some some may say that they don't like American stuff. Yeah. But some of them do love Fords. Like they're big. Some of them are big Ford that's owners. True. Now the what is it? What they got their we got the first left hand side or the correct side. I don't know how what side of the road that they drive on. They right. drive on the right, right side. Right side? Yeah, they we started um or Ford started manufacturing right handed side. Mustangs. So in America? No, 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 that to the, for the UK. Oh. Yeah. You know what I heard? The um, big Ford drivers over there. I heard uh, there was a Charger, like a Hellcat found in... Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell me that? Yeah. Yeah, you t tell them the story, bro. It's nuts. So basically, like, in in, in America, guys, have you, if you haven't noticed, um, there's been a lot of carjackings that have been happening in with, with Hellcat, with, with Dodge and their Hellcats. One of them got stolen and got shipped into a container ship and so happily it got found in the UK. Somebody was trying to get a Hellcat. Or somebody it. probably took whatever it was in that Hellcat and just dumped it. That's, that's what I feel. That's crazy. Cause that's a law, that's a big deal. Like how you gonna get this Hellcat back? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But what if the, think about it, if they was trying to put it together, like that'd be the first Hellcat in the UK and now y'all got Hellcat switches, Dracos, Y'all are damn near Florida. Yeah, damn there, yeah. Oh yeah, no facts, cause y'all got the Nike Techs over there, yeah. Yeah, y'all started that Nike Tech shit. We just fell in line. Like, I, I just started listening to the drill music up in um. Thank, thank you for you for put, like I say you putting some of it in here, but like I started listening to some of the drill music. And I I didn't even know the UK was so well developed and like. Yeah, the UK is. They, it's they, crazy. I think they got a better sound than New York. I don't think we we don't jock. From Chicago, we don't really jock the New York drill. We don't really. You think it's because of the accents? Do I think their accent pushes their music further yeah. in America? Yeah. That's a good ass question. Didn't you ask that before? Yeah. Dude. But I, I don't think I never answered it. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to take the talent away from the artists. I don't want to say that. Now, their accent, now there are a lot of Americans be like, oh man, the accent is crazy. Regular Americans, like with a regular accent, couldn't get on some of the beats they're on, mm -hmm. which I do agree. Like, Central C, how could I be home of old? My bitches get no American. We couldn't even <laughs> utter nothing like that and it'd be okay. It's not going to happen. Oh, God, yeah. So, that, how do you feel about that? I just feel like, hey man, they was blessed with that sound. It's just like with music, music got a different sound. Even though I can say this word a certain way, you say it differently, they might like it more than than right. I say it. Like they might like your way of saying it then. So yeah, yeah. just like how everybody got ghostwriters now. So it's like right. you got any social media? Me? Yeah, for sure. You guys if you wanna follow me, slick Gatsby, Instagram. Like Gatsby like the Gatsby like the book. Like Gatsby like Great Gatsby. What what was that book about? That book was about endless love. Like pe like my people are making fun of me for saying this. And I am too. God <laughs> Because like no cap I like the book. I love the movie. Leonardo DiCaprio was amazing, but it was about it was about love that he couldn't really get at the end of the day. That's what I got out of the movie. A lot of people got something different. But like it's a girl that, you know, you couldn't really Hey, keep talking. Keep at talking. The end of <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. No, keep talking. No, stay there. Keep talking. At the end of the day, you couldn't get. All right, y'all. Uh, I don't know what the hell he was talking about in there. That's neither here nor there. I don't know about no great guy. We are all dark skin. Dark skin. Dark skin. Dark skin. I'm gonna have him put it here. He was getting too light skinned for me. I don't know what was happening, honestly. Uh, yeah, he's talking about Great Gatsby to love. You can call I don't even know what the hell he. I'm so single. I like a camera, G. Thank I you. Like I barely G. use it. I barely. I'm gonna try to edit. You do the editor in this building. You know what I'm saying? Something like. Um, what was the question? So before you met me, before you knew anything about the UK. I'm not saying I was your first introduction, maybe, yeah. but like deep into the UK. What was your thoughts on the UK? Like, what when I talk about London, what do you think of before you met me? No, I love I love the UK, bro. I want I want to travel and shit. No, 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 no. What was the first thing that came to your mind if somebody brought up the UK when they bought? Uh the Stonehenge, London, Italy, 
Greece. So Paris. Europe in general. Huh? So Europe in general, you thought of all of that, were you? Hell yeah, that's a beautiful fucking spot, bro. So what's your favorite thing about the UK right now that you can think of? Off Me? The top? Yeah. Uh, the scenery. I'm a photographer, bro. I see things different. So I I want to go to um Poland. Poland. Yeah. I took the white. Yeah, I'm gonna take the white there too. Yeah, I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take the white there too. Take the white there too. <laughs> Got him. Nah, I'm taking the green there. <laughs> nah, you are. Nah, def definitely though. The UK is lit, bro. The UK is lit. It's, it's a it's a firm place. Nah, but the um, I always say when I watch the documentaries and whatnot. They got nice uh, architectural structures there. Yeah. Like the buildings look real old and look cool and whatnot. Hell yeah. I want to ride I want to ride around on a bike in Italy for some reason. Oh, Wait, gosh. introduce yourself. Did you ever introduce yourself to Nah, but they know who I am. I'm Jason, man. The creative director, Blueprint Studios, Blueprint Media, Image Craze, A-M-A-G-E-C-R-A-Z. Y'all can find me on social media at that point. But y'all know who I am because y'all can't forget this beautiful face, right? Right. I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> I'm on a Vogue set. Like, come on, bro. Let's take these pictures, bro. <laughs> Speaking of that, photo shoot time. Gang, gang, gang. Thank you. 
So, being that it's Black History Month, I would think that you are the perfect person to talk on this subject since you love black men. Uh, <laughs> is there is there any any black men in particular you want to give a shout out to in history, current? Um, Drake. Is Drake black? Okay, we can we can black. count Drake. Yeah. He's not black. Okay. Um, Drake is actually what what this was all about when, when Martin Luther King said he had a dream. That's what it was. Okay, Drake. A little TJ. Shout out to Lil Dirk. Rest in peace. Keep talking. Uh, anyway, y'all. Uh, we're done there. <laughs> I'm back home as y'all can see. Nora is in town for a convention, I guess, and stopped by. Huh? Uh, she's been a baby right now. She doesn't want to go. Oh, I'm on one hour of sleep. Oh, first of all, respect me. It's February. It's Black History Month. When I say it should go, we only got 28 days in this month. So y'all, do y'all know anything about Black History Month? Is there a Black History Month? I don't even know. Let me tell y'all one thing about this social media game, man. When you in it, you want to do two things at once. And y'all know I be on TikTok trying UK foods out, right? So, I'm going to do two things at once right now. You pull out that yellow phone, my boy. Go to TikTok it. Put that thing on three minutes, okay? You feel me? You, you follow me? Maybe I can just hold both. Maybe this is going to be harder than I thought. Now, y'all know I do not have a kettle. If you want to follow me on TikTok, link down below, man. But y'all know y'all eat every single UK snack with a, with a, uh, with a cup of, with a cup of, is that what y'all call it? A cup of, a cup of, a cup of. Y'all seem to like Yorkshire. I got Tetley as well, but you know, we'll rock out to Yorkshire still. Don't act surprised, you knew that was coming. See, now we double up, right? We on TikTok as well. I'm back. Oh man, I didn't even show y'all this. This the Big snack cabinet, big UK snack cabinet. And but but we gonna go with these man. McVitie's hobnobs. The Odi one milk chocolate with a cuppa. That's what y'all call it. A cuppa. No kettle though. And at this point we just wait. But for y'all, y'all don't gotta wait. All right, that water boiling. It look good. No, I do not have a kettle. There is no difference in my mind. A lot of y'all gonna be mad at this, but in my, in my mind, there's no difference between the kettle and a pot of boiling water on the stove. One just works faster than the other. I think that's a good cut right there, man. Now what I like to do, you know what I'm saying? I like to wait. I like to wait two, three minutes, let the let the tea get strong. That's what I learned from y'all. Like, I don't understand how y'all can tell me if my tea is strong enough through a video, but the next time you'll see me, I'll be putting in milk. <laughs> my bad. Milk time, whole milk. Red cap in, in the USA is whole milk. Yeah, you hit them with the And you know, it might be a little milky, but we gotta kill two birds with one stone. Definitely don't got no fork or no proper utensils. We just stir it up with that. And honestly, that looked good to me, y'all. 
Alright, so last time, get down here. What y'all told me to do was, because I had the, just the oat ones without the milk chocolate, so I'm supposed to dip once, dip twice, then eat. TikTok too. Now what TikTok won't what TikTok won't see is me double dip. You gotta grab two of them. <laughs> you gotta whoop whoop D three times. I'm, I'm feeling dangerous right now. Uh Let's spit it out. <sighs> That's good. It's gonna take everything I got to not eat this whole pack. Everything I got in me. Pause. To not eat this whole pack. Check out something interesting. Mm. Y'all wanted a uh, Miami night walk. My little brother just came into town his birthday man drop a happy birthday in the comments you know we got Nora and their friend <laughs> Alice she might be a little camera shy huh? I am we're about to be in Wonderland <laughs> once again we're getting hydrated <laughs> about to be a lit situation I'm gonna try to bring this camera into whatever spot we go to but you know they might play me they might not play me happy birthday Jared Hey, he's my. We're still waiting on him to get out of there. He's waiting on his luggage. Out of the airport. Check back in when we at the next spot. Yeah, man. Hey, listen. My bad about that last shot, but hey, that night I threw up. Um, yeah, I threw up, and uh, my brother got in town, and we you know it was his birthday. And I forgot to <laughs> Daddy duties. <laughs> so with that, I'm going. Tell them, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post.